So, so what can you tell us about the besties? What do you guys, what do you have coming up? The besties. Um, um, we, <laughs> we have a lot of scenes together coming up, especially in episode 10, which we're yeah. premiering here and will air this Monday. Uh, that, we, we watched a lot of movies together in that episode because we had the exact same schedule because of all of our scenes were together, <laughs> which was pretty cool. Yeah, and then we have some, some we, we, we team up to, to fight some some pretty cool stuff off yeah. in these episodes, some sci-fi drama. We definitely kind of become the Wonder Twins, I guess. Wonder Twins, yeah. love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do either of you have any, like, romantic relationships coming up with anyone? Well, I mean, everything's... Uh, in life? No, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's pretty uh, up in the air still. Like, yeah, it is definitely With her weird. and her interest in the Taylor character, then my interest in her, and... I think the two of us are probably the most rocky as far yeah. as who we're going to end up yeah, with. Yeah, definitely. All that, yeah. Sophia's mother's been, you know, kind of anti-human, and Sophia's got a lot of interest in finding out more. Um, and then this last episode, her mom kind of lightens her negativity a little bit. Um, going forward, will we see them be able to bond over this at all? You know, uh, her. Uh, I know she she does become closer uh, with Roman, especially because I think they sort of have a rift. I think the two of us, though, I I am the one that kind of called her out on stuff. I don't think we ever really had much of a rift, but I think. Uh, you really do see her and Roman come together and sort of support each other more later on. Have you been able to kind of have any of your ideas about your characters integrated into any, any of the background that you kind of work together? Yeah, that's the great thing about yeah. our writer, uh, Meredith. She is so great about that. We have sit down, and she's like, oh, where did you think your character was going? Let's, let's kind of like connect things. And she really takes our interests into mind as she likes the characters. Like I know with um, Julia's character, she sings in real life and they incorporate that into the script. And she sings. And it's just yeah. it's really cool. She really takes that stuff in Yeah, I know for me, um, I after the first episode, she she reached out to all of us and just sort of asked us, okay, so what are some questions you have about your character and like what are some, what's some backstory that you kind of would like to have? And I told I told her that I wanted to have more backstory uh, with my father. Because, you know, in the second episode, we are mourning him, and I was just like, I need something to go off of to know, like, what kind of relationship I had with him and all that. And the thing that she came up with ended up being a little short monologue in episode four, where I talk about how he taught me how to swim. And she came up with that whole episode. And I, I don't, I, she probably had that episode in mind before, but the whole no, how, connecting it. <laughs> but connecting it to the father and stuff, I think, because we had that conversation kind of maybe help spark it. I'm sure she already did the entire time. I don't think I had anything to do with it, but it helped me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Now your series has some really amazing sets, especially the area where the Atrians live. Uh, oh, yeah. Can you talk about your initial impressions of that and like filming and shooting there? Well, the interesting thing about the sector is that it doesn't look the way it looks until after. So in post, yeah. it's like All we multiplied. Have is the first floor, yeah. like the first, first and like second floor yeah. in in the actual set, which was already awesome. So which whenever I saw it in post and then they added all those different layers, I was like, so oh my god, because I had no idea that they were adding that stuff. But I think the set in like when, especially once we um, came off of because in the pilot we did everything on locations like we had actual locations that they had scooped out so whenever we they had built the sets for stuff I think it was really inspiring just to see how beautiful everything was and just how well done it was and even in the story like things that are there afterwards make it so much cooler like even if they're not there while we're shooting it like CGI things like yeah. when we're talking to the principal or when the principal's making announcements or like when we're looking at stuff on our little scrolly pad things yeah. like it's really cool to see it afterwards I always look forward to like seeing the post yeah, it's Do either of your characters have anything um, coming up with like the Trags or the Red Hawks get involved with or yes uh yeah I mean there's definitely more Trags and Red Hawk action happening uh, I don't know if you guys know, have noticed but every episode kind of ratchets up more and more and more action that doesn't stop like the finale is huge so yeah like expect more and more and more and more it's gonna get more and more and more exciting excellent thank you thank you guys so much